Okay, so once we launch to the water, uh, there's a few things you have to do in order for the sub to float correctly. Um, essentially, it, it's a very fast um, setup. So what I do is I flood the submarine until I get, um, you know, a decent amount of flood. I don't want it to go underwater, so I'm just going to stop it right here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to um, see where we ne how how the sub is starting to sit into the water. So okay, so what we're going to do to start balancing this is uh, we're going to take a little bit of the flood that we've entered into here, which is it floods equally, and we're go going to basically add it into the center. Okay, so once we get that set up like this we're going to see how well it starts flooding again. We're just going to add a little bit more flood to the entire submarine and we're going to see how it floats. So as a final uh, little um, bonus item that I wanted to show you guys here is the new vertical launch system. So we could do the lights, we put some lights on this these little lights I have inside there. I don't know if it's going to be a cool effect at night time or something, but I suppose we could try it. Um, so I have these all linked to the one key and I'm hoping that when I press this they'll take off out of here like a shot. They might actually hit the sub and explode so I have no clue what's going to happen. This is the first time I ever managed to get it into the water uh, without the missiles exploding on uh, dropping into the water. So uh, let's do the first launch and see how it goes. Cross your fingers. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> okay. So, um, yeah, there's problems. I'm not sure exactly what the problem is here. There's got to be some kind of a problem here. I don't know what. Um, Silo launch take two. In this silo, I have wheels um, lining the inside of the tube. I'm wondering if those wheels will act as a barrier um, and basically roll the missile out of the out of the launcher. I have no clue. I've never done this before, so honestly, it could just be the blast. Um, so what it's doing is it's kicking the sub downward. When it does that. Um, the two the, the 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 rocket is then separated from the su the sub itself and the rocket is launching upwards it is therefore rubbing and hitting against the side of the tube and then exploding so something is going wrong here and I'm, i i guess we're going to find out if the one on the, the this side closest to the camera it launches properly uh that's the one with the wheels the other one has no wheels so let's just see what happens <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Woo! That's awesome. Sorry. I'm sorry about my giddy you know, girly kind of sounding, uh, you know, sounds that I was doing there, but that was awesome. That worked, that worked really good. Um, unfortunately, I think there's enough influence up from the wheels cause I have no aiming on those, on those missiles. So the, the wheels themselves are basically controlling how these things are launching out. So I'm going to have to make sure the wheels, I might even just make my own part that will basically just be a perfectly symmetrical, uh, four wheel um, ring that essentially will just slip the rocket right out perfectly straight up and, and won't, have, won't give any preference to any one direction but that turned out awesome as an actual first test that was just phenomenal so I'm quite happy with uh, with how that's turned out um, that's all for now guys just wanted to show you an update and give you some uh, some more stuff to look forward to